Hey, everyone, and welcome back to the Pace Studios. We are now live with Betit Biscuy. Thank you for being here. Hey, thank you, man. And joining you today, we've got uh, Swedish vocalist Scott. Thank you so much, both of you, for being here. Um, we uh, So here we go. We're, you guys are about to play three songs for us today. Uh, one of them just came out last week, which is, I think, what you're going to do first, right? Yeah. Suffer just came out on Wednesday, and then you exactly. also have two off of Presence, uh, which is out on your own record label. Um, yeah, exactly. So I'm independent, uh, doing all the things by myself. I'm going to play three tracks, as you said. So the first one is Suffer, the track we just released together. And we're going to play Problems after, and Sunset Lover, which is like... I think, yeah, most famous track. Um, I'm really happy to be with you guys, and let's go, you ready? All right, I'm ready, you ready? Yeah. Cool. That you can stand and fall A domino, domino, domino Are you one? You're better off when we are apart Don't you know, don't you know, don't you know me at all You think that you can stand and fall Domino, domino, domino Are you one? You're better Thank you. That's uh, man. It's I can hear the uh, hear the playback, and it's it's a totally totally different environment than is happening. What's happening inside your ears versus what's happening here in the room? It's always fascinating to see how these things. Uh, oh come together. yeah. So yeah, I'm playing like all the keys, all the all the stuff, electronic stuff. So it's like I, I just have to hear them well. You know, it's like it's a it's a big part of the work. It's. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's fascinating to see it come together, man. Thank you for, uh, you. for coming Thanks and doing this. And so can we talk a little bit about how people can see you live? I mean, I know that uh, this is, uh, you've been toured a number of times uh, in the U.S. And so you've got tour starting in two days uh, in Chicago, yeah, right? Exactly. So, yeah, uh, for the live show, I'm, I have a lot of instruments as today. I brought some keys, some like this stuff. I have it on the live. I have also some percussions, like I'm, I'm playing some drums. Um, it's like, you know, it's especially musically, I, I did a lot of edits of my tracks. I wanted to m make it more dynamic, uh, like make something, you know, really, who sounds like just live. And I know that um, I, I do a lot of chill tracks, but I, I want to make my life more yeah, punchy. Less Imagine. chill. So, yeah. Just come see me. Did you make those <laughs> edits for this session for Pay Studios? Or you made those edits for this tour, you're saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But, um, yeah. Well, dude, thank you for coming and doing this. Uh, we appreciate it very much. And so the second and third songs that you're going to do are off of Presence right now, right? Which you yeah. released on your own label? It's called Problems, yeah. So it's uh, with a guy, it's called Lido. Uh we did like a big walk on it, uh, so I hope you like it.
Thank you. <laughs> Especially now, man, I cannot wait to hear the playback of what this sounds like outside of the context of this silent room right now, man. It's, I can tell just from barely being able to overhear the playback from the other room that it is outstanding. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah, with the guitar one. now. Mm, definitely. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about your background? I know you've classically trained. You've been doing this since probably before you can remember even, but you've been doing it forever and ever. Um, yeah, can you talk a little true. bit about your background and how it led you into the type of music you're making now? Yeah, that's true. It's been a long time. I'm practicing some music. Uh, I started with Shalo. I was five years old and I told to my mother I was on the car. I just remember. <laughs> I was just telling him, uh, I want to play Shalo. I don't know why, uh, but that was that's a, that's a good instrument to start. It's really... It's really difficult, but it's really elegant, and and I really like it. So I played cello at the musical school for 13 years. I just stopped uh, a year ago, uh, but you have like all the basics in 13 years. So yeah, I I studied the uh, piano and guitar as an autodidact. Um, so yeah, you know. I always wanted to go further in the music, so I was really curious. I I had some friends who had some guitars. I I just went to their home only to play, <laughs> and um, yeah, I started composing at eleven. I think uh, I I was just hanging on the internet. I just found some some uh, some videos from some uh, from some guys who were just composing. There there was uh, Dead Moss, which is like on on. Um, like uh, we did some live streams about uh, him composing. A lot of guys like this. So I was really interested about all making music. I just downloaded some softwares uh, like Reason, then FL Studio, um, and just like just found all by myself. I don't really like tutorials, and I didn't add a good English level at this time. Um, so I was just yeah just searching how to make this, how to make that. And I'm now here. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks for taking the time to do it. We appreciate it. You know, you've got a, a busy schedule coming up this month and next. Uh, there's all the North American dates starting yeah. uh, Wednesday in Chicago. You're back here in New York at Terminal 5 on October yeah. 26th. Um, and then there's North American dates all the way through. You're finishing, it looks like, um, November 17th in Mexico City. That sounds like a ton of fun. Yeah, that's a, that's a big schedule. Um, Have you, had you played Central America? Have you played Mexico City before? No, I played Acapulco. It's not so far, but no, I think not the not like not the the same ambience. Like I think Mexico City is really another atmosphere. I did uh, some sessions there, but not uh, not some uh, dates. I, I'm going to see, but I'm really excited. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for you, man. It's going to be <laughs> a lot you. of fun. Um, so, can you tell us a bit about the third and last song that you're going to do off of Presence today? Yeah. So it's called Sunset Lover. I think that's one of the tracks who people know the most. Um, I finished it when I was 15 years old, so it's been three years now, uh, and it's a chill song. It's like, it's. I think it's mostly how people can describe my music, uh, like chill and really like, will will make you feel like uh, elevating. You know, it's like yeah, this kind of feeling. So hope you like it again. <laughs>
Okay, there it is. Three yeah. songs. Uh, Mehdi, thank you so much. Scott, thank you for being here and doing this. Uh, we appreciate it very much. So, Petit Biscuit, you're on tour starting the day after tomorrow in Chicago. Uh, best of luck on the tour. Tour safely. Uh, we'll see you back yeah. here in New York on October 26th at sure. Terminal 5. Um, enjoy all the dates. Enjoy Mexico City. Um, uh, it's the last last uh, date of the North American tour on November 17th. So enjoy it. And best of luck on the new single, Suffer, which just came out on Wednesday, and yeah. on the album Presence, which is out now on your label. So you got a lot going on, and good luck with all of it, man. Thanks a lot for doing this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.